Hi friends. Today you are here because you passed your three by one and four by one digit multiplication and now you are ready to go on to two by two digit multiplication. So I'm gonna model number one and number two and then I'm gonna need you to try another problem that I write here. So if you need to pause me a minute and get a piece of paper, please do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you the steps for solving a two by two digit. What's different this time is we're gonna do something called dropping a zero with the digit by digit method. So we still are using the digit by digit method, which is what we call the shortcut method. So I'm gonna go ahead and model number one. I always like to pretend that this isn't here because we're gonna start in the ones place and we're gonna go ahead and multiply the ones and then we multiply the tens. So my first step is to multiply three times six and three times six is 18. So my eight's gonna go down just like we did in three by one and four by one digits. And my one's gonna get carried over into the next place value. Then I'm gonna multiply three times five, which is 15. And I'm gonna add the one, which gives me 16. And now here's where that new thing is gonna come in, that new rule. We are now done with the ones place, and I already added this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I like to cross it out. And when I do that, when we're done with the ones place, we drop a zero to hold place value. And now we move over to the tens place. And now I'm gonna multiply eight times six, and then eight times five. Okay, so we know, if I don't know eight times six, I know some of you have struggled with your facts, I'm gonna think, hmm, what's eight times five? Eight times five is 40. Well, then eight times six must be 48. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my eight down here, and I'm gonna bring my four up. And then, ooh, eight times five is 40, and then 40 plus four is 44. And then I get to go ahead and I have to add these together to find my final product. That's the answer to a multiplication problem. So eight plus zero is eight. Okay, and then I have six plus eight. Hmm, if I don't know that, I'm gonna wanna, ooh, two more make 10. And I have four left over, so 14. So six plus eight is 14. Four plus two is six and then I have my four. And then I have to make sure to put my comma in, and it's a thousands place, so I'm gonna put my comma here to hold place value. So 4,648 is my final product. And now I'm gonna move over on into number two. And I'm gonna do the same thing here, and then I'm gonna have you try number three. So I'm gonna start off, like I said, kind of pretending that this is not here at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and through the steps. I'm gonna multiply two times one, start in the ones, and then I'm gonna multiply two times four. So two times one is two, and two times four is eight. That one was pretty easy because I didn't have to carry anything, but I still have to cross out the ones because I'm done now, and I have to drop a zero to hold place value. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the tens place and multiply nine times one, which is nine, and nine times four, which is 36. And now I get to go ahead and add this up, making sure everything's lined up in the proper place value. So I'm gonna multi or excuse me, add my ones place together, which equals two, because two plus zero is two. Eight plus nine, I'm gonna add my tens place together, which is 17. Seven, and bring my one to the next place value, just like when we add. Six plus one is seven, and three plus zero is three. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my comma here, and my final product is 3,772. And I would like you to try with your paper and pencil, what I'm writing for number three. And I'm gonna write this in blue. So go ahead and multiply 67 times 
43. So 67 times 43. Go ahead and pause me, try it out, and then press play, because I'm gonna go ahead and reveal the answer. And I'm gonna write that in purple. So my first step, hopefully you did this, you paused and you're ready to reveal the answer. Seven times three, so I'm gonna start, pretend that this isn't here. So three times seven is 21. My one here and bring my two here. And three times six is 18, plus two gives me 20. I'm now done with those, and now I'm gonna drop a zero to hold place value. Then I'm gonna start over here in the tens place, multiplying four times seven, which is 28. And six times four, which is 24, plus two, which gives me 26. And now we're gonna go ahead and add it together to find the final product. One plus zero is one. Zero plus eight is eight. 2 plus 6 is 8, and this is just 2. Put my comma in, and hopefully your final answer, your product, was 2,881. What you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and practice a few problems um, that I've uploaded to Google Classroom for the remaining portion of WIN. And then if you finish early, you must log on to whether it's extra math, prodigy, or freckle that we have labeled for you on your remote learning plan. Let me know if you have any questions. Good job today, friends.